School principals accused of driving drunk and hitting a parked car, a person and a building. Now just take a look at the damage to Rebecca Tuttle's car. The front end totally smashed in. She is the principal at Hickory High School. Channel 9's Dave Faraday first broke the news about her arrest last night, and he's live tonight in Hickory. And Dave, we do know now she is suspended. Yeah, the school district making that announcement this afternoon. Scott, behind me is the crash scene. According to the police report, the principal struck a parked car at the top of that hill and then came backwards down the hillside, crossing this road before striking a building on the other side of my live truck. If you look closely, you can see there are still pieces of the wreckage here in the roadway. You can see the damage to Rebecca Tuttle's car after police say the Hickory High principal struck this minivan in southeast Hickory. It happened right here. Anita Sherrill says she woke to the crash outside her home. She watched as police gave Tuttle a field sobriety test after she backed up and hit a man before striking this building across the street. To be a, a principal out that night at late late at night like that drinking and driving that's that's just sad. According to this police report Tuttle's blood alcohol level was 0.16 twice the legal limit at the time of the wreck. At Hickory High today some parents believe Tuttle should be disciplined or fired. When you're a school official you have to set a good example for the children because they they do what they see. If she's going to be a role model, our children don't need that as a role model. But Cindy Scheller supports Tuttle, who she says helped her special needs son transition into the high school. She says Tuttle should get another chance. I know she does the phone calls every night um, for us, and they're so positive in how she talks about her students and has a lot of compassion for all the kids. The school district sent out an email explaining to parents its plans on moving forward after suspending Tuttle. It's sad for the community. It's sad for parents that are trying to teach their children the right way, and it's, and it's really, really sad for the school system. And the damages here are estimated to be in the thousands of dollars. The principal is scheduled to go in front of a judge Monday morning over in Newton. Back to you.